First time posting on X. I posted this on B and told I should post here. Here it goes, it might interest you. Be me, 35 years old farmer. Live in a lone farm from everything. Was married with two kids before wife's death three years ago and kids' disappearance a year ago. Night before disappearance, all was normal. Notify police, they said they will try their best. They said maybe kids just got lost. Kids never got lost. Didn't tell anyone except police. Be alone and depression kicks in. Fast forward last October. Laying in bed in front of fireplace. Too cold. Smoking my pipe and fighting sleep. Eventually slept and woke up feeling disturbed to total darkness. Weird cause fire stays till I put it out in the morning. Nothing can cause its extinguishment. Stand to light fire again, too cold to sleep without. Step on liquid, near the fireplace. Light fire again. Look down. I'm on a large, bloody stain. No other traces of blood anywhere. Panic and gaze at the roof. Nothing is leaking. Take my rifle and head towards the door. Look outside. Nothing alarming. Moon lights the whole area. Strong wind. I see a little light in the distance. A large, blurry red dot. WTF is that? See more clearly. There is a silhouette. A tall silhouette with the dot at his feet. Load the rifle and aim at it. I took aim. Target way too far. Scared shitless. Silhouette just standing still. At the point of not knowing what to do. Shit, greatest regrets for not fixing this truck. Had three days to do so. Only one option left. Called my stock supplier, who was a good friend and knew my father well. Asked to pick me up. Needless to say, calling him at 2am made him realise something was clearly wrong. Asked me what was wrong. No time to explain. Please just come fast. Hardly breathing and shivering uncontrollably. Locked the door firmly. The red stain still by the fire. Grab pipe and smoke to calm the nerves. Waiting seems eternal. I hear the wind outside and the crackling of the trees. Adds fear, but nothing abnormal. Go to the door to open door and peek outside another time. Slitherette was still there, but it seemed taller and closer. The red dot was also brighter. Fuck, rush back inside. Thinking about getting the dogs from the barn where I usually lock them. Nope, too scared of that. Smoking more nervously. Intense impatience. Phone rings. It's the supplier. He'll be a bit late. Baron Road, his voice is weak. Alright. I hung up and kept waiting. Put on soft music to keep myself distracted. Roars outside. Some kind of beastly roars. I have never heard before. WTF is happening. Definitely not the wind. Panicked and stay still. Dogs started barking furiously at that same moment. I had seven dogs. Also mules. Started neighing. Cold is deeper. So frustrated, didn't want to stay alone and didn't want to leave fire warmth. Ah, fuck it. Took a light torch and ran outside from the back door straight to the barn. Get in and lock the gates. Thank God nothing abnormal inside. Feel much better with animals company. The dogs are still barking. Start petting them to calm them down. Realise left phone inside. Shit, too scared to go back and get it. Moment later, one of my dogs stood up and started staring blankly at a corner. Dog is trembling and moaning. Most terrified face ever for a dog. WTF is happening, is this normal? Dogs start barking again. Hit a truck engine, biggest relief in my life. Engine stops and I go out. Locked the doors on the animals and ran to the truck. Sat next to the friend. Friend is a strong Russian bloke, saw him carry logs a normal human wouldn't even move. Usually, no emotions and no expressions on his face. I see clearly now, his terrified face. What's wrong? No answer, he just started the truck and we left. Awkward silence, he was hardly focusing on the driving. His mind was absent, ignoring everything I say. Fine, I'll stay quiet. After a while, he took a turn. Wait, we were heading back to the farm. What's going on? I started shouting and taunting him to say anything. Close to the farm now. He stops and looks at me on the verge to cry. Get out. 
his trembling and pointing a gun at me. Walker confused and with absolute fear. See his truck fading away in the distance. Fuck, I'm doomed. Quickly head back to get rifle back for the barn. Doors unlocked, made sure to lock them before leaving. Rifle is still there, but not a single trace of any of my animals. Get back in the house running. Fire extinguished again. Light it on again. The red stain just doubled in size. Fear seizing my body. Hear a bark, followed by a strong scream. Goosebumps and hardly breathing. Go to window to check the silhouette spot. Still there in the same position I left it. Dots were glowing like crimson fire. Take phone and call friend to try and understand. His phone is off. Call police. All is off. Weird. I still got transmission. Hard racing. Decided only one way left out of this. Walk out. Head with rifle loaded towards the silhouette. Adrenaline rush. Walking faster and faster. Silhouette and dots start fading. What is happening? House is far behind me now. Look back. Barn is on fire. Should I walk back or just leave? No close footage, no nothing. Run back. The barn is lost, no way to put out the fire. House door, locked. Try forcing it, useless. Go to back door, locked too. Gave it several kicks. Finally broke. Got in, all black again. Total darkness. First step in, I feel stepping on liquid. Light the torch. Oh my god. Blood is everywhere now. Ran as fast as I could, heading towards the east. The main road is there. What a day. Never ever considered anything supernatural before. 30 minutes of running and finally a main road. Road is empty, nor since it's 4am. Waited a long time, but a bit more relieved away from that place. Nothing made sense in my mind. Small car passing by. Didn't stop. Just realised who is insane to pick up a stranger here in the middle of the night. Trying too hard not to think about everything that happened. Too tired from all the running, so lay it down. Fell asleep. Awakened by morning light. Light is re-comforting. Decide to head back now that light makes vision clearer. Do not care anymore, I need to see. Back to the farm. Door is not locked. Walk in. Not even a single drop of blood. Fire was on. Confused more than ever. It wasn't when I left running. Too much fear to feel anymore. Barn was to ashes and no animals. Sat in the corner and smoked my pipe. Think I was high last night and the barn just caught on fire. Call friend to check. Oh my god. Phone is ringing. He answers. Oh my god, thank god you answered. About to tell him about last night. He screams and tells me not to ever call him back. WTF, so my conclusions were wrong. I was not high. Just decided to stay there for this day. Lost in thinking. There is an uncle who we did not talk. He had a big quarrel with my father in the past. Thought I should call him last home. My life in the farm ends anyway. I lost my animals and my supplier and it's hard to find one. Call uncle at midday. No answer. Fast forward, 5pm. Shit, night is close. Call uncle again. Talk awkwardly. Finally tell him I need to leave and I need him to pick me. He lives about three hours away. Found it awkward and started asking questions. Told him I just feel uncomfortable there. Also told him about wife's death and kid's disappearances. He seems worried and said he would pick me up the next day. Finally, a way out. But still the night is here. Decided it's best I stay awake with a rifle in hand to observe everything. Be at farm in the morning. Walk in. The floor was scratched. Shit happened in here. Went to my room to take some of my shit. Be in front of bed. See a picture. Weird picture, never saw it ever before. Hold it and see. About to faint. It was my father with my Russian supplier in the back of the picture, and in the front, my mother. They all look so dim and so sad. I look further in the picture. Behind, in a corner, my dead wife was sitting in the corner holding my old kid. This was the room I was in. I hated everything about what's going. Fear rising. I tear the picture and walk out. Decided to burn the farm and everything about it. Leave with the farm in flames behind me. 
never ever returning to this land. The picture still on my mind, distracting me. My wife and my parents never met. Went back to uncle's home. Big crowd in front of it. Burnt to ashes. Thinking about uncle's last words. I still don't get it. Uncle died in the fire. Went to Lithuania with the money I had left and that's where I live now.